Hello there guys, it's me Moth Marauder coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be looking at Funko Pops Godzilla. So yeah. Now before I start off with the review itself, I would just like to say that, um, well, if you haven't watched my um, review of my uh, Funko Pop Batman from Arkham Asylum, well, if you haven't watched that review video, I said in that video that I just woken up and tired as hell and yeah and um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this in the previous video but I'm actually making these reviews uh, like I'm not making them every few days or whatever I'm actually making these uh, Funko Pop reviews or whatever like I'm making them one at a time like in one day or whatever so yeah Anywho, um, back onto the review. Let's get started with detail. Now, um, I don't know what design or uh, incarnation of Godzilla this is supposed to be. Um, like, I'm not sure if it's the 1954 or if they just decided to uh, make their own. Well, I shouldn't say make their own, but I, I just don't know uh, what design this Godzilla is supposed to be. Maybe it's not supposed to be a specific design. Whatever, but yeah. Um, the box that this figure came in was uh, had the picture of the 1954 Godzilla on it. However, I'm not too sure if this is the actual 1954 design. But whatever the case may be, this is pretty. This is pretty nice looking. He has a like he has a pretty cool, fierce look on his face. Teeth are nicely done. Claws, the toes, and um. His spike, I mean not spikes, his scales here looks really well detailed, and the dorsal plates are really nice looking. Hold on a second. Sorry about that, but anywho, back on to detail. Yeah, this is really well done in terms of like texture and sculpt and all that. So, yeah. Detail overall, just really well done. Paint job, same thing. Um, he has his traditional charcoal, I shouldn't say charcoal, but he has his traditional gray color. Although sometimes uh, it's he looks either black or green, but yeah, it's still really nice nonetheless. And I like the shiny, uh, well, I like how they made the dorsal plates very shiny. Looks really nice. Uh, the red on his mouth here, I don't know if that's like lips or if that's gums, but it looks nice either way. Inside of his mouth is red, which is nice looking. The teeth are white, along with claws and toes, of course. And um, the eyes are black, which reminds me of the Cloverfield monster, now that I think about it. That's fucking scary. But yeah, um, yeah, paint job is just really, really well done. Um, so yeah, paint job's really nice. And articulation, um... <laughs> He has no articulation, so yeah, kind of like the Bandai Creations Hedora figure, which I hope I can find, or whatever. I still want to get that figure, but anywho, yeah, this figure has no articulation, although it looks like he would, like the head and the arms, but nope, he doesn't, so yeah. I mean, like, these are glued, but I do not. Like, I highly advise you to not mess around with those. But, yeah. Um, no point of articulation. So, yeah. And I'm fine with that because, you know, these Funko Pop figures, they're, like, they're not really... They seem more like um, collectibles than, like, action figures. And, um, if that's the case, then... Uh, well, Godzilla here having no articulation and some of the other Funko Pop figures having one point of articulation. Well, that stuff, like the very limited articulation would make sense then, if that were the case. But yeah. So yeah, no articulation. And, um, yeah. And now, last but not least, rarity. Um, I'm not too sure how common this specific Godzilla pop figure is. But, however, um, seeing as the pop figures are really damn common, 
I would have to assume Godzilla, or this Godzilla pop figure is pretty common. So yeah, I got this for my birthday a couple or few years ago. So, yeah. Um, like, if you don't see him at the, your local store, then he'll most likely be on Amazon or eBay. So, yeah. So that's pretty much it for this review. Um, detail and paint job is really well done. Articulation, he has none, which is fine with me. And rarity, he is really, really common. Or, just common. So, yeah. In the end, I give him a 5 out of 5. I see no real flaws with this figure. I mean, no no articulation, but it's still a really nice figure. And, of course, it's a Funko Pop, so I could care less. So, yeah. Really hope you enjoyed this review. Hold on a second. Uh, sorry about that, guys. But, anywho, um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this review. If you have, hit the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment if you want. So, yeah. That score again is 5 out of 5, and that's pretty much it. This is Moth Marauder, signing off.